Hello, Hellraiser here. I wanted to show you guys today our cross-plane. I also wanted to explain some of its features, show you our wireless HDMI transmitter, show you the control packs and explain how they work, and also show you it playing some Xbox 360. Now one of the questions we get asked a lot, is this the final production cross-plane? No, this is just the prototype. Because it's a prototype, it's going to have features on it that might change in the production unit. What we want is your feedback. We want to know what do you think of the button placement, what do you think of the different triggers, things like that. That way we can change it and make it where the final production unit is up to your standards. Also one thing to note is the final production unit is going to be injection molding. It's going to be a very high quality device. It's going to look like basically like something you buy off the store shelf. Now, as I mentioned, we have our wireless HDMI transmitter here. That has to be plugged into whatever unit you're going to use the Xbox 360, the PS3, or your computer. Also, you have to have the appropriate controller pack. So I'm just going to show you, we have the Xbox 360 set up. I have a game already in it. The HDMI wireless transmitter is on. So basically what you do is you insert your, your um, control pack into it. And this is the Xbox 360 control pack. And we turn our unit on. Now when it first turns on, it's going to go into a pairing screen so that they, the wireless HDMI transmitter pairs so that the signal is sent. And also what you're going to want to do is go ahead and pair the controller with the home button. So you hold it and it'll pair. And that's basically it. Now you're transmitting to the cross plane. So we have a game started up here. I'm going to show you a little bit of gameplay footage. It says use R to rotate the camera. So that's what you do. Now press LB to get the camera behind you once it's time to move. There you go. Then you use L to move. And a lot of talking that you don't have to listen to. <laughs> and you can move the camera while you're going. And as you can see, no wires. This is all being done wirelessly. And the screen has a very good resolution. It's a 720p. Some people are asking why did we didn't put a 1080p? Well, basically two reasons. One is the cost. That would drive the cost way up per unit. The second thing is, it's still very difficult to get 1080p 7-inch screens. They're just not a lot out there. So if someone has any um, low-cost 1080p 7-inch screens that they'd like to send us a link to, feel free to do that. But until then, we're, we're kind of stuck with 720p. But I don't really consider that a detriment to the crossplane because it's beautiful. You have to see this in person. It's a very beautiful screen. As you can see, it has wonderful colors and contrast. has great viewing angles. You can see it from any direction. Okay, back to the game. I don't really know what game this is. My kids play this. The Blob 2, I think. You can make them duck, which I don't know what good that does. But also on the cross plane, what we have here is we have our two analog triggers. We have our D-pad. This is our home button. A, B, X, Y. Then we have our start and select. Also down here, we have our controls for our screen and our volume. As you can see, you can go volume up or down. It can get pretty loud. I'm not going to go up too loud. You guys won't be able to hear me. Also, you can adjust the co colors and contrast the different picture things, the gamma. You can get the picture looking exactly the way you want to. Also, you can just turn the screen itself off if you would like to do that. On the bottom, you can see right now we have a headphone jack and a charging jack, which will be in the final production unit too. Up top, we have a small um, micro switch, which will probably change. We're going to try to integrate it where the power for the unit is actually in one little switch on the front. And basically, that's it. Now, with these controller packs, if you wanted to play your PS3, what you'd have to do is you'd have to, of course, turn off your unit, take out your controller pack for the Xbox 360, put in your PS3 controller pack, and then turn on your PS3. Also have your wireless transmitter hooked up to your PS3. What we're offering, Our if we hit goal. on Kickstarter, and if we go beyond that, then we're going to try to include an HDMI switch so that you can have more than one unit hooked up with our transmitter at one time. Then you can just push a button on a remote and switch between units that you want to play. Basically that's it. That's what I wanted to show you. Show you working, our working prototype. 
explain a little bit about it, show you what it does with the Xbox 360. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys back us. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. We appreciate your comments, and we thank you so much for your support.